Well, thankfully, our February wasn't all that extreme. In fact, for temperatures, we were right at average here in Green Bay with an average temperature for the month at 20.3. In terms of rain and melted snow, slightly below average by just a few hundredths of an inch. But what's really interesting, our snowfall, five inches above average. So that tells me we probably had some lighter, drier snow, hence the reason that we were actually below average for that precipitation. Now, for the entire winter, this is showing the deficit from precipitation compared to average here across the upper Midwest. Where you see these yellows, that's where we were actually slightly below average in terms of rain and melted snow for the winter season. But the vast majority of the upper Midwest and Great Lakes region, especially towards Kentucky into Tennessee, those areas had a surplus of rain and melted snow by over six inches. So it was a, another wet winter season here across northeastern Wisconsin. Here are the top five wettest seasons on record for the winter in Green Bay. And we ended up hitting that top five mark with 1.51 inches of rain and melted snow December, January, and on February. We ended up the sixth warmest winter on record as well. And in terms of snowfall, we picked up 43.5 inches. That set our record here as the seventh, uh, seventh snowiest here in Green Bay. Now our snowpack starting to take a hit with some rain we saw earlier this week as well as some warmer temperatures. Still a healthy snowpack once again north of Highway 64. Looking ahead the 8 to 14 day outlook once again suggesting that we could see above average precipitation. That takes us through the middle portions of March. In terms of rain amounts, it looks like once again our main storm track stays to our south and southeast for some areas over the next 10 days could be picking up one to potentially two inches, some slightly lower amounts here across Wisconsin. But any rain on top of the snow we have right now, combined with above average temperatures through that same 8 to 14 day outlook, could lead to plenty of melting snow and yet potentially more flooding issues as we make our way through the next 7 to 14 days. In terms of temperatures, we should be in the low to mid 30s this time of the year. We might see a little dip for the middle portions of this week and then another push of well above average temperatures as we head to the middle portions of the month.